Claiborne Farm. Uh, tell me about uh, late and why you guys uh, took pick this spot to jump into a Grade One here. Well, we we love running to Keeneland, and uh, you know this is a logical spot for the Oaks. You know, it's produced the last two Oaks winners, so we're hoping it does the same for us. What is it that has stood out about her? Uh, you know, she's, that debut win was something special. I mean, you usually don't see horses win like that, especially that early on in the career. Um, you know, I know uh, people were quick to uh, compare to Royal Delta, so wow. I know they think a lot of her at the barn, but uh, she needs to prove it, so we'll see what she does on Saturday. But that's strong company to have that name and thrown out there. It's a lot of big shoes to fill, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. So, you know, she could be half as good as she would be in good shape. So, As, uh, as we've mentioned, there's a lot of history uh, with Keeneland, with, with Claiborne, but, you know, Double Dog Dare, you got yeah. a, a, won the Ashland 50, 1956, and now you're 2017, it says something for the Claiborne operation that you've got one of the leading contenders for the Ashland again. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, we're uh, we're hopeful. You know, like I said, we love win, uh, winning the Keeneland, especially the greatest stakes races. So, you know, we're going after the, the next uh, tier there that they've created with the vase, so hopefully uh, a late will add to that total on Saturday. Uh, what would be the, the best way for the race to unfold for her to have the risk, her best chance? You know, I just hope she gets a good break. You know, in uh, Arkansas at Oakland, she kind of lost her chance at the start. She got uh, squeezed and slammed and she never really got into the race until the very end when it's too late but um, you know I just hope she gets out of the gate well and gets in good position and the two uh, two hole we should be in a good spot.